Hi everyone, this is JG the Blu-ray and DVD Collector 05 here, and today I'm going to be doing my Blu-ray and DVD update for May 2023. Uh, so let's begin with the Blu-rays. So first up is Black Adam, uh, which I brought uh, in CEX for £10. And overall, I'd say not a bad DC movie, but not my favourite. I mean... It's not as good as the other DC films, but the only good thing about this film is the rock being in it. So, yeah. Not a bad DC movie, but, you know, not great. And I am looking forward to seeing uh, Shazam at some point as well. So, let me know in the comments what you think about this, about Black Adam. So, anyways, that's that. Next up we have Elita Battle Angel, which I've been wanting to add to my collection for quite a bit now. Uh, this is from the producers of Avatar. And yeah. I thought overall it was, it was actually quite a good film. The soundtrack in this movie is fantastic. And probably the acting as well is also pretty good. So, yeah, uh, I just thought I'd add it to my collection since uh, I enjoyed Avatar, so I thought I'd check out some of the other films that were produced, just like Elite Battle Angel. So, yeah, overall a film I highly would recommend, so that's Elite Battle Angel. Next up is Sausage Party, which I've already done a movie review of, so you can check that out. But, great comedy movie, great animation, and overall pretty funny and i do like this uh cover how we have the bun on the uh on the actual cover and then just the sausage on the blu-ray itself so yeah i just think although i do think it's pretty bizarre to have as a blu-ray release but anyway a uh, very good animated movie you should definitely check it out and yeah I would highly recommend Sausage Party. Next is The Green Mile, starring Tom Hanks, which I thought was a pretty good film. Uh, not not great, but it was it was pretty good. I've been wanting to add this to my collection as well. Uh, brought it for only seven ninety nine in HMV, so I guess you can say not a bad deal. And uh, it's a two disc set, so. Yeah, uh, The Green Mile, great acting, especially for Tom Hanks, and yeah, would highly recommend it. So that's The Green Mile. Next up is a couple of films I haven't watched yet, and so first of which is The Truman Show, uh, which I'm looking forward to uh, watching this movie. Uh, I've been wanting to add this movie to my collection for a little bit, and you know, Jim Carrey looks like a good actor in this film, so yeah. Should be a good watch. Uh, likewise with Total Recall, which stars Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, and uh, these were, were the only films I don't have with Schwarzenegger in. So, yeah. Looking forward to checking that out. And Oblivion, which I hadn't had a chance to watch yet. But I am looking forward to doing so with the actor from Tom Cruise. And, uh, yeah. the This is kind of a strange Blu-ray cover. Because it's in this uh, weird... Uh, a Blu-ray case where you just have the front and the back and then uh, you get the disc itself and then inside you just have uh, the pictures on there as well so yeah uh, Oblivion should hopefully be a good watch as well and last up for the Blu-rays we have season 6 of Rick and Morty which I've already done an unboxing of so you can check that out uh, but Overall, great season, great episodes, great characters, and yeah, some pretty good episodes on here, including uh, Final Death Smith Nation, uh, Solar Ricks, uh, Rick Rictional Multipoons, Rickmas Morcation, and Analyze, I uh, can't say the word on because I just don't want to swear on this channel, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, those, those are some pretty good episodes of Rick and Morty. 
So yeah, great season, great episodes. I've uh, watched it through one whole day. Uh, just w watched it in full, and yeah, overall great season. Would highly recommend Rick and Morty. So that's the Blu-rays. Uh, now onto the DVDs. Moving on to the DVDs, we have South Park season twenty-five, which overall, uh, kind of a neutral season. Uh, some episodes aren't great, but there are some good ones. I guess it was just worth watching, and I thought just uh, add season twenty-five to my South Park collection. Uh, so yeah, um, some okay episodes. Uh, there is some I do like. Uh, City People that was a good one where Cartman wants to be a real estate agent because Cartman's uh, mom got a job at the real estate agent, so that's how Cartman got inspired to be uh, an estate agent, a real one. Well, a estate an estate agent anyway, but yeah, uh, only six episodes long from season twenty five, and uh, pajama day was a pretty good one. Uh, city people and uh, said agree weed. Uh, Patrick's Day special was also quite good as well. So, yeah, some pretty good episodes on here. So that is season 25 of South Park. Next up is Beavis and Butthead Volume 4, which I've been wanting to add this to my collection for quite a while now. Uh, overall, some good episodes, but then again, uh, some bad ones too. Uh, they just put it all together in uh, one volume. Now again, Beavis and Butthead are pretty daft, but they are funny. So, it, it's a two-disc set. And, yeah. Uh, I've already did a DVD collection video of Beavis and Butthead as well, so you can check that out. Next up is the Gavin and Stacey, A Special Christmas, which I thought I might as well just add to the collection since I already have the uh, complete collection. Uh, did not watch this DVD, but I did watch it when it was on uh, TV uh, a couple of years ago. And I thought, yeah, it's not a bad Christmas special, actually. Uh, great to see those characters again. I did not even think this show would revive... Uh, after the 10 years off air back in 2009, so, yeah, so, 10 years later, here we have a Christmas special of it, uh, but, overall, uh, quite good, um, yeah, good characters, and overall good comedy series, so that is the Gavin and Stacey a Special Christmas. Next up is Liar Series 1 and 2, which I haven't watched the DVD version of it yet, but I have streamed this before on Netflix. Uh, so overall, pretty good series. It stars uh, Joanne Froggart. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what happens in this. It's about... Uh, it explores the devastating cost of deceit on both the couples... And later, their friends and family as secrets and lies lay laid bare. So, yeah. Uh, it only had two seasons. I, th I think the show ended after two seasons anyway. Uh, now, the reason why I got this DVD is because uh, it, it went down to twenty one ninety nine, But then it, one time, well, they crossed it out on the HMV price. But then it went down to nine ninety nine, which I thought was a pretty good uh, deal. So I thought... Yeah, why not just buy it? It's It has gone down in price a little bit. So, it's a four-disc set. Uh, obviously, each season, they both have two discs. So, yeah. Uh, Liar, pretty good drama. Uh, I would highly recommend it. So, yeah. If you're a fan of this, then this should be one for you. This should be the good uh, DVD for you. Next up is Litvinenko, which is a David Tennant drama. Overall, quite an interesting drama uh, that aired on ITVX. But then they released it onto DVD, which I had literally had no idea this had a DVD release. Uh, but yeah, uh, David Tennant is such a good actor, especially in the Doctor Who, as he will obviously be the... Featuring in the 60th anniversary episodes. But anyway. Uh, this is a good drama. I'd say not as good as Des. But still very good. 
Um, yeah, it obviously follows obviously another one of those another true stories about back in they were set in November two thousand and six. So yeah, overall quite a good drama. So yeah, that is Litvinenko. Next up is John Cena's Greatest Rivalries, which uh, I wanted to add in my John Cena collection because this was the only John Cena DVDs I do not own. So, yeah, I uh, haven't watched this yet, but I might have a binge watch of this because I do like John Cena as a WWE wrestler. He's a great uh, actor and wrestler in, in a great actor in films and such. So, yeah, that is that. Next up is Dead Man's Shoes, which is uh, uh, directed by Shane Meadows and stars Paddy Considine. Uh, so, this was the only films with uh, Shane Meadows that I don't have. So, I thought, might as well just add it. Uh, I think this is one of his first projects he did, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, uh, Dead Man's Shoes, uh, not great, but it was worth checking. Not as good as This Is England, but... I guess it was worth something. So, yeah. Uh, overall, uh, great acting. Uh, this is uh, based on um, two brothers returning to the hometown. And they left eight years earlier to find it. Still run by the game. Uh, but same gang of small, sorry. Uh, time drug dealers and pretty thugs. Uh, petty thugs, my bad. Uh, so yeah, uh, not great, but not bad at all. So yeah, I guess I could recommend it if you're a Shane Meadows fan of movies. So yeah, that's that. Next up is Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania, uh, which I've actually uh, watched today. Actually, I'm gonna for. Not as good as the other Ant-Man movies, but uh, not as good. I mean, not as bad. Sorry. Uh, kind of a neutral film, to be fair. Uh, sort of changed a little bit. But, yeah. Uh, great acting in this movie. So, would highly recommend that. Then we next up is The Kingsman, which I found relatively cheap. It was only £4. So I thought, why not just buy it to complete my Kingsman collection? And I say, not as good as the other two. Again, not as good as uh, The Secret Service or The Golden Circle. But I guess it was worth something worth watching. Um, so, yeah. Did look a bit different to the other films. Anyway, that's The Kingsman. Next up is Groundhog Day, which I watched in one of my college media studies. Uh, and this is obviously uh, Bill Murray having the day of his life over and over again, reliving the same day, which is obviously February 2nd. Uh, so, yeah, I thought this was overall a great movie. Uh, great acting for Bill Murray. And, yeah, I just, I just think it was overall a pretty good film. So I would highly recommend Groundhog Day. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, next up is A Few Good Men with another Tom Cruise movie. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not bad. But I'd say, again, kind of a neutral movie. This is based on uh, Tom Cruise's character when he goes in the war in America. So, yeah, anyways, that's A Few Good Men. And yet, we have yet another Tom Cruise movie, Eyes Wide Shut. Now, to be fair, it weren't that, it wasn't that good. I mean, it was alright, but just wasn't something I was expecting, to be fair. Uh, I mean, I only checked it out because of Tom Cruise. I mean, it was, it was worth uh, the watch. And something to add to my Kubrick collection as well. So anyways, uh, that's Eyes Wide Shut. Next up is Jigsaw, which uh, I thought I might as well add to my Saw collection. Uh, since there is a 10th film coming out in a 
very soon. Uh, they had Saw X, they called it. So I don't know if that's the 10th film. So that's why I decided to pick up the Saw sequels. Uh, yeah, I think there was a ninth one as well called Spiral from the Wicca Saw. But I don't know if you know that, if that's even part of the Saw saga, if that's the ninth Saw or Jigsaw is the eighth. But anyway, Jigsaw, not seen this as of yet, but uh, should be a good watch. We're looking forward to watching it. And then finally, we last up, we have some of the Chucky films I wanted to add to my collection. So first of which is Cedar Chucky, which I actually prefer over Bride of Chucky, to be fair. Uh, great acting in this. Uh, obviously, um, Chucky the Doll is pretty good in this. And uh, yeah, would highly recommend Cedar Chucky. Uh, yeah, I actually do like this one over Bride of Chucky. I mean, both of the Chucky movies are great. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty good watch. And finally, for this update, we have Curse of Chucky, which... I haven't watched as of yet, but I am looking forward to continuing the Chucky saga as well. Well, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this. So that is my May Blu-ray and DVD update. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if there's any good titles you've seen in this video. And please do subscribe for more.